Hi guys, uh, this is Daniel Carrion, Marketing Consultant at Miles Technology, and today we are going to go over how to create a custom email notification in Salesforce. Now, the easy way to do this is just to go into the Notify checkbox you find in the Setup section. So if we, uh, we're already in Setup, and if we go into Lead and then Settings, we can see right here that there is a notify default lead owner checkbox that if we edit we can then select and that basically makes sure that when someone is assigned a lead that they get a standard email notification but what if you need to send a customized automatic email notification for something a little more specific uh, like say an opportunity field that's being changed by a user now this is a little more complex step and there's actually going to be three steps that you want to take to ensure that you do the right thing. And it begins by going into here and we are going to select email templates. And we are going to create a, let's see, first of all, create a new template. All right, so the type of email we want to create is just going to be a text email. So click text and then click next. And the type of email we want to make is uh, something that's going to notify a user when they specifically check a opportunity field for contact unresponsive. Now, what we're going to do is select which folder we want to save the email in. Make sure you select available for use. And for the email template name, uh, let's name it email, uh, let's say Amy, and contact field is checked. And you can see that it automatically generates a unique name don't really need a description and for the subject line let's just say contact um, field now for the email body why don't we put something like this up um, responsive has been marked here is the link to review now the way we're going to generate this link is going up here we're going to select opportunity since uh, the unresponsive field is an opportunity field and we're going to go ahead and select contact unresponsive, which is under the custom fields. And here we go. Now it's already selected for us under the copy merge field value. So we can just copy that, bring it down here and paste. And that'll create a link for the user of the email uh, recipient to just click right on through. Now with everything complete, we can click save. All right, so we have our email template all set up. Now we can go on to the next step, which is to create a rule to trigger the email. So what we're gonna do is go up here and we're going to click Workflow to get us to see Workflow and Approvals. And then we're gonna click Workflow Rules. And we're gonna create a new rule. So the first thing you see is object, and we're going to be selecting opportunity. So let's scroll down until we see opportunity. And click next. And now we are on the configure workflow rule page. So we're gonna click a rule name. And again, we don't really need a description. Uh, so let's just say send. to Amy and responsive field is checked. Now 
uh, for the evaluation criteria, we're going to leave it at the third option, which is created, and any time it's edited to subs uh, subsequently meet criteria. Um, let's see here. So that will ensure that any time that the checkbox is marked, it's going to send that email to Amy. Now for the rule criteria, we're going to select opportunity for the field. Let's see here, opportunity, contact unresponsive. We're going to select equals. And then for value, we're going to make sure that that is true. So when everything is input, just click Save and Next. Alright, and we have loaded the third step here, uh, which is going to be to add an action. Now we're going to click here, add workflow action, and add an e email alert since we want to send an email. Now for description, again we're going to use pretty much the same that we've been using already. Send an email notification to me. Responsive field is checked. And we're going to select our email that we created in step one. So let's see if I can find this here. Well, I would select the email that I created in step one, so let's just assume that this is the correct email for now. And for user, we're going to select Amy, add them in into the selected recipients. And that's pretty much it. So what you would do next is click on Save and New, and then click Done on the next page to complete. And the final step would be to select the activate button uh, for the role to place into uh, to place the role into effect, but obviously I don't want to do that since I don't actually want to use this workflow. And that is pretty much it. So when you want to create email notifications, just go through all three of those steps uh, for any notifications you want to be uh, sent to users. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening.